here with uh, Shushai at LCS Europe yeah, presentation. Uh, you just played your first match. Uh, you are in Dragon Bones now. Tell us more about this team. Uh, it's a team founded by me and uh, my friends. And, uh, we have like, various uh, nationalities on the team. We have two Polish players, one Swiss, one uh, French player. Well, he's actually French slash German slash Asian. And we have one Israeli player. Are you kidding? This list is ridiculous. I thought you were hanging around here. I think like you were having a lot of fun with the new team. Yeah, uh, we had a bootcamp before, uh, for, for a week before uh, the qualifications, and it was really a lot of fun. We practiced a lot, of course, and then we had some fun playing like uh, other games like Guitar Hero, the, uh, dan dancing on keyboard and stuff. And, uh, Okay, if we talk about you as a person, I mean, before this offline event, we haven't seen you for a while, so where have you been the last time? Have you played League all the time or did you take a break? Uh, after uh, departing from Fnatic, I just kind of a bit so focused on my stream, then I had some internet problems, but uh, I always knew that I want to get back, so I was uh, looking for a team. I was looking for uh, people that I can uh, form a team with and play with. Have fun with. Where would we play, Jason? Well, uh, you played at uh, the Gamescom for the 3 qualifier. Uh, what happened after this? Uh, the team was basically made only for ECC Wars, so actually, and uh, then since we were able to play uh, the qualifiers in Gamescom, we decided to stick together for uh, a while more. Uh, we even had maybe a thought that we can stay together, but after all the difference in personalities were was too big, so we decided to split, and then uh, I stayed with Russell, and then we found Mover, Okay, if we talk about you as a person, um, that you already had in mind that you definitely want to come back. So, what is League of Legends for you at the moment? Is it like you definitely want to go full time, or do you think about maybe going back to study or something? I want to go full time. It's, it's really a like cool experience to be able to play the game. And, uh, and it's, it's really fun. It's something I love to do. I mean, a lot of people probably like to play computer games, right? And uh, yeah, it's also a lot of fun you know, traveling and all that stuff. So um, after this tournament, I mean you now got the first win, there are pretty good chances, chances to go through the group. Um, what are your plans after the tournament? I mean if you're going to the Pro League, to so LCS, of course you will go full time, but is there an option for you to play in the amateur league? Well, if we, if we buy any chance, let's hope not, uh, don't qualify for the uh, LCS, we're probably going to stick to the, uh, the IAM events and uh, the, the other stuff than the uh, LCS. Alright, so uh, let's talk about the first game here. It was, um, we saw Draven on the plane. I mean, we don't see Draven in professional gaming that much, but you also decided to play Kale mix. Um, do you think Kale is uh, strong in Thesis 3? Because we didn't uh, see it in Thesis 2 that much, but people say in Thesis 3 Kale is very viable, like on top lane or in jungle, because very fast jungle. And uh, yeah, we also saw AP in the Kale by you, so tell us about your uh, gems. Okay, so I think that Kale is really strong, and she was really strong, but people just didn't say that. She always had a lot of damage early game. Like her early game damage is typically the best. And then she also has various uh, builds to uh, go on. I mean, she can go attack speed and she's useful. She can go uh, full IP and then she has a really insane burst late game. And uh, also she's really good for saving the carries. I mean, th that last game I failed few of my ultimates because I'm not used to that big of a meter at, at home. Like I, I have the half of it, so like my vision was uh, you know half, and then it was like anything that that's over the border I didn't see. So yeah, the, the game would be probably even more one-sided though. But uh, yeah, I think Kelly is pretty strong and. 
about what my other champions are talking about. Because I'm not going to say that, but you will get me to see them later. Okay, if I remember right, at uh, Gamescom you put out AP Fugas Dance on it, and you were probably the first player in Europe who played the beef on it. Um, what do you think about the new, I would not call it meta, but a lot of people used to play AP, uh, AD Bruises in mid lane? Or do you think about playing them, or don't you re really don't you like that idea and uh, you stick to your AP HMs? I actually have uh, in my champion, I have like 50-50 AD and AP. I love AD champions for the action. I mean, if you, if you play AD on me, maybe you can make a lot of moves. You can like, push on the upper ground, you can just force the fight and go to AD. There's AP like, let's say, Kartus. And if you are playing with Jax, you can just jump on him every time and you know, lose a lot. Uh, you could see the game with uh, between Milan and Acer now. They played uh, Acer at Kratos and Milan with both of them. You can just jump on him and uh, do serious damage. Uh, what do you think about the team comps? I mean, you had a good camp. Um, did you have a specific thought on uh, creating team comps? Because now AD Blue dot and mid lane is probably just a bit AP damage from top lane maybe or from the support because supports like to go rubber down to our glass now. Uh, what do you think about team comps now in P3? Is it too early to really create the team comps or for example Millennium speak uh, Amino and Misfortune? Yeah, we also want to really work really well. Yeah, I think uh, I mean, the team comps are starting to become created in season but the team comps also works. But yeah, uh, during the practice we tried to. But we, uh, we made some, but we didn't focus on that. We kind of focused on uh, the synergy between our champions. And then, uh, I mean, the team comps just come up naturally. Like, uh, okay, so this worked with that, this worked with that. Okay, let's try this, 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 and this. Okay, this worked. Okay, this worked, okay, this worked well, but this champion, should ch we should change this champion. Because it, it wasn't so good, it could be better. So, yeah. You're next. You're next. Okay, let's uh, talk about this tournament. Your next opponent will be Team Asa and uh, Millennium. What do you think about that? Uh, I think uh, there are pretty good teams, and especially Millennium. And, uh, though, if, if we can pull off the early game against Millennium, we should be able to beat them. After the game, I don't need it. Without Asa. I don't know, we haven't played them, so we're gonna see on the stage. Okay, my last question will be about the players band. I mean, in the last days, right, we had five players for this event. Uh, for example, one team was uh, if you guys, if you guys don't drop like totally banned, three we'll players were, are not able to attend. Uh, first of all, do you think it's the right decision to handle the situation to uh, professional players just like the uh, normal player, like all the other little uh, all yeah, the I'm world playing League of Legends. I was thinking of selling and, it and giving uh, it away on streams. Yeah, what do you think about the timing? Do you think it's okay because Riot has to do it at some point or do you think it's pretty bad because it's right before the tournament and for example one team is now not able to use I think um, no player should be above the others. Um, everyone should be using the equality. But on the other hand, uh, like you said, I think Riot should have to carry the consideration before like yeah, but I get this ridiculous I think, like, like, a week before the players, for example, when, when teams sign up. It's uh, at the front, at the very yeah, front. Yeah, they were signing up. When, when teams were signing up, they should check the players. Yeah. And, and yeah, then, then there wouldn't be problems like, uh, like that now. Like someone have to fly, they have plans and stuff, and then suddenly they're like, oh, we're going to go. It was a mistake to get this, I can't finish it. Alright, Shushi, thanks for your time. Uh, Thank you. The last book are yours, and maybe you can give information if fans can buy your awesome hats. The awesome hats uh, named the Dragona hat made by my girlfriend it will be uh, will be being sold on on the internet after this. Uh, I'm, sure I'm, I'm, I'm pushing the managers to do that. But we will see. All right. I mean, we're not the best.